Hey guys, how's everybody doing? I know this is a little bit of a different setup here, but I got my grandbaby right here with me, and we've had another busy day. And um, But I didn't want to not share scripture with you, so I have something that I want to share with you guys. It's from this little pamphlet that I found in one of the antique Bibles that I bought. Say hi, Cove. And here, you can sit up here with me if you want. Do you want to sit up here? With me? Okay, you play down there. Okay, but yeah, it's called Let Not Your Heart Be Troubled. And it's one of these little, like, dime store books that you would get way back in the day. And so it's a collection of scriptures, guys. I just want to share them with you. Let's pray in real quick. Father God, we're so grateful to you for this chance to have family and, and a beautiful world and a life, Lord, and a time where we can live in a relationship with you, Lord, and, and do good in our time here on earth. Yes, the earth is in a fallen state, but we can profess your name. We can amplify your love out into the masses, Lord. Let us be a part of that. Let us never lose sight of our gratitude for your grace and your mercy, Lord. Let us never... Let us never lose that hunger and that desire to chase after you and to profess you with all we do. We pray all of this in your holy and heavenly name. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, so let's get into this. First off, the namesake verse is John 14, 27, and it is, Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Guys, Psalm 46, 1 says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Now Psalm 50, verse 15, it says, Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. Amen. Matthew eleven twenty-eight. 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. Amen. Uh, Psalm 55, 22, guys, cast thy burden, where? Upon the Lord, and he shall sustain me. Amen. How about Psalm 100, verse 3, guys? Know ye that the Lord, he is God, it is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Because like sheep, remember this, we all, go to, we all go astray, but we have a great and mighty shepherd. Guys, Isaiah 53, verse 6. What a beautiful chapter of Isaiah, am I right? All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. Amen. He did. He bore my sins on that cross and... Because of Him, I have, I have life today. Because of Him, I have this chance to share in this life of this grandbaby and to have these renewed and restored relationships, guys. John 3.16, we all love this one. For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son that whoever believeth in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Guys, John 3.36, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. We know which side we want to be on, guys. Uh, Proverbs 20, verse 9. Who can say, I have made my heart clean? I am pure from my sin. Not one. And do you know why? Well, Romans 3, 23 tells us why, guys. For all have sinned. And come short of the glory of God. That is an exclusive all. Let's look at 1 Peter 2.24. But God commandeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for... Oh, I'm sorry. Christ died for us. That's Romans 5.8, guys. 1 Peter 2.24. God bless you. Who his own self... Bear our sins in his own body on the tree. That's what he did for me, for you, for her. We all have that sin inside of us, guys. Uh, 1 Corinthians 15, verses 3 and 4. How that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. He was the fulfillment of all the law and the prophecy and everything that it hung on. Romans 10, 9, guys. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe 
in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Amen. Romans 10.10, 10, guys. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. 1 John 1.9, guys. I hope you are enjoying these. 1 John 1 9. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Luke 18 13, guys. God be merciful to me, a sinner. Oh, and He is. He so is, guys. Psalm 25 17. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. Oh, bring thou me out of my distress. Psalm 25, 18, guys. Look upon mine affliction and my pain and forgive all my sins. Oh, Psalm 51, 10. I love this, guys. We just read this not long ago. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Those beautiful Davidic words. Psalm 6, 2, guys. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am weak. O oh Lord, heal me, for my bones are vexed. Obviously, these are King James guys. I really hope you're enjoying these. Psalm 40, verse 13. Be pleased, O oh Lord, to deliver me. O oh Lord, make haste to help me. Psalm 19, 14, guys. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Guys, John eleven twenty five. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Amen. Come on now. 1 John 5, 11, guys. And this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. Galatians 3.26, For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. 1 John 5.13, guys, These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. And we do, am I right? Guys, 1 Peter 4.19 says this, Wherefore let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to Him in well-doing as unto a faithful Creator. Alright guys, check it out. we got a couple out of Romans. My goodness, I love Romans. Romans 8.18 For I reckon that the sufferings of this, pre of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory of which shall be revealed in us. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, Romans 8.31, a few verses later. If God be for us, who can be against us? Come on now. Romans 8.28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to His purpose. 1 Corinthians 2.9. I hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. All right, guys. You know, it's amazing when you think that however many years ago somebody took the time through prayer or whatever to put together this little pamphlet, this little tract that has stuck around this amount of time and is still conveying God's word, and that's beautiful, guys. Um, John 14, 21. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. That is Matthew twenty two thirty seven, 37, guys. Sorry. John 14, 21. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. Proverbs 3, verses 1 and 2. My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Proverbs 4, verses 20 and 21, guys. My son, attend to my words, incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. Matthew 4, 4. It is written, 
Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Amen. Luke eleven twenty eight. Blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. We write it upon the tablets of our heart. Come on, guys. Psalm 42, verse 5. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted in my heart? Hope thou in God. That's right. Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. Guys, Job 19, verses 25 and 26. For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God. Guys, James 5, 13 says, Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Psalm 34, 19 tells us that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. We're not free from affliction, are we? Psalm 34, verses 6 and 7. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him, and delivereth them. Isaiah 40, verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Hebrews, guys, 10, verse 38. Now the just shall live by faith. We're back to Romans, guys, chapter 5, verse 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, because on our own, all we would have is anonymity. All right, guys, John 16, 33. These things have I spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Guys, John 14, verses 2 and 3 says, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. Oh, I'm looking forward to that dinner party, guys. Joshua 1, verse 9. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee wherever thou goest. Psalm 23, verse 4. Guys, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Guys, Psalm 23, 1, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Psalm 27, 1, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 121, verse 2, My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Mm-mm-mm. Psalm 4, 8, guys, I will both lay me down in peace and sleep. For thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. John 17, 14 says, I have given them thy word. And the last one today, guys, is 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 4, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble. Guys, God has a plan for each and every one of our lives. He has, he has a story in mind for us that is far greater than anything we could ever write for ourselves. And you can see it every time you look at the face of a child. You, you, see, the, you see the potential. Because the earlier you get right with God, that much more productive we can be. Um, and that's coming from a guy who wasted a lot of time but it don't have to be that way guys hey hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed i do a new video like this six days a week or at least as often as i can situations provi providing um guys give the video a thumbs up if you liked it share it if you loved it if you have any prayer requests if you have any comments if you have any questions if you just want to tell this one right here how freaking cute she is then you can do that down there too
We're happy to have you guys. We're happy to share God's word with you. I'm so glad to be signed, sealed, saved, and delivered. And able to share that love with as many people as possible. Able to share that love with her. Able to share that love with you. Just like you're able to share your love and your dedication with me. I love you guys so much. Father God loves you even more. Y'all guys go out there. Please have a blessed day. We love you.